Robert Fisher on board Observation Horizon Arm. Please respond. authentication. Dr. Hammer Fisher, 140, Come on, try again. Voice authenticate. Emma Fisher, 140-412. Okay, okay, good. Come on, give me something. Sam, are you there? Respond. up in module 8. I'm going to relocate you to the Horizon Utility Hub in module 9. That should give you access to limited system diagnostics. Hang on. Great. Listen, I'm stuck in the Horizon airlock in module 11. I need to get into 9, but I'm not sure if it's safe to open this hatch door. Can you give me hull and pressure diagnostics on module 9? Module 9, hull contact points to adjacent modules read true. Good, we're still connected. How is the pressure in 9? Module 9 is fully pressurized. Okay, that's good, good. Uh, something is vibrating, Sam. Can you check the hull contact points on the other modules? Module 11, hull contact points to adjacent module 9, read true. Yeah, I can see that. I'm in that module. Module 8, hull contact points to adjacent modules, read true. Okay, well at least I can maybe get down to central through there. What about module 10? Module 10, hull contact points to 12, read false, suggesting that Module 12 is no longer securely attached to the station. Shit. I think Josh might have been in Module 12. Okay. I'm coming through to 9. Sam! The hatch door is jammed shut! Controls aren't responding. See if you can restore power. Sam, you still there?
self-diagnostic procedure and what errors are you showing relocation functions are offline I require auto-routing to access module cameras. Okay, I can manually relocate you, but once I get out of here, I'll get your systems up and running. core has been corrupted. I have lost significant station data. Okay. So most of your system links and data logs are gone. Sam, you will need to scan, download, and recover as much data as you can. We need to get you back to your old self. between crew tracker functionality and SAM OS has been severed. So it's working, but the link is cut. I'll need to reconnect it in Central. Josh? May? Anyone? Shit. Okay. Yeah. I can't get out of here. The hatch controls aren't working. It might be a safety lockdown. You'll have to override the hatch from Module 9. Okay. I'm auto-routing you back to the utility hub in Module 9. Camera movement should be online now. Run a test. Looks good. Camera cycling should be active as well. Check the other cameras. Great. I can see your live feed updating from here. There should be a system links reset procedure document on the wall somewhere in there. Find it and scan it. Your scan range is limited, so use your camera zoom to get closer. Okay. 
That should be reinstalling the system link interface. Use your cameras to locate the hatch controls and any other integrated systems and equipment. Good, good. Looks like that's working. Add another. the EAS-11 airlock hatch controls. Okay, looks like that is working. Now, use your system link interface to open the EAS-11 airlock. That's it. It's open. I'm out. Good work, Sam. Okay, let's get this up and running. Josh? I don't know if you can hear me, but... Oh, I hate these things. Josh, if you're in EAS Module 12, then stay put. The hull connection isn't secure, and most of our systems are underpowered. I'll work something out. Josh? Houston? Anyone? What? Uh, wait a minute, Sam? Our internal communication network is fully online. Where has everyone gone? Oh, shit. Uh, okay, station alert, station alert. Right, Sam, you should have access to your OS now. You can now relocate to any module and view its camera feeds. In the EAS arm, at least. Try it now. Find that fire, Sam.
message from home. Thanks, Sam. Hey guys, it's like 4 a.m. with you, but we just went by Florida and I saw Jacksonville all lit up. And it never gets old. And, well, I just wanted to say hey. Things are great up here, and work is going smoothly. Although Houston keeps changing their minds on what they want me to focus on. I'm hoping I'll get more info soon, though. Still, it's all good. Message in, Sam. There is a fire out of control in EAS-4. Shit, I'm on my way. Looks like you already have the hatch system links. Good. Get ready. Fire suppression override. Dr. Emma Fisher. Okay, Sam. I need you to get ready and open the door. On three. Are you ready? One, two, three. That's it. Come on! on in here. Clear these fumes. <sighs> That's it, it's working. The fumes are dissipating now. How bad is it? The rack units have been damaged beyond any functional use. Overall, that's not too bad, considering. What started it? What was the source, Sam? We need to stop it happening again. Residue on panel LFE1 indicates a potential source. What? That's just a blank plate. Let me see. Something is coming out of the side. What is that? It's like a thick grease. Or oil. Dark red. There is maybe something in storage above that's leaking.
There is significant stress being applied to EAS-12. Immediate separation recommended. Please, if there is anyone in Module 12, make yourself known now. We are about to jettison the module. Someone, please respond. This is getting much worse. Okay. Sam, get ready for the separation procedure. Okay, first, process my authorization code and give me a security override key. 1442413324. Two, nine, zero, three, four, one, nine. Got it. Inputting now. Hurry, Sam. Target the jets and push the module away safely. the lack of power. EAS-12 is still tethered with unusual structural damage. It's like a hole has been cut out of it. What would do that? Spun off course. Damage doesn't look too severe. Just isolated sections. Modules are badly damaged. The damage seems to be localized to the upper part of the arms. I'm going to connect to the distance cam. We should see where we are above Earth and if we've lost any altitude. you here. It seems. What? Why? I don't know. <laughs> 